Hello, first graders. Welcome to our new math lesson. We're still on topic 13. Today's lesson, lesson number five, tell and write time to the half hour. In the previous lesson, we learned about how to tell the time per hour. We're using the analog and analog clock and the digital clock. And we know that the hour hand pointing, the, small, the short hand pointing to the hour and the long hand uh, pointing to the minutes. So let's see today's lesson. The minute hand travels all the way around the clock every hour. Each little mark is one minute of time. Count how many minutes make up one hour. How many marks are there if the minute hand goes only halfway around the clock? Explain your answer. All right, so if we look here, we see the minute hand, the long one, travel all the way around the clock one time. So one round means one hour. And each hour, you go one of that small little mark. And this little mark, it's one minute. So if we count this little mark all the way from here, all the way one circle, one round, till we come here, we're going to find there are 60 minutes. And that's what we say there are 60 minutes in one hour. So 60 minutes in one hour means 60 count of that small little mark. All right, let's watch our video and come back to this exercise. There are 60 minutes in an hour. So half an hour is 30 minutes. Where is the minute hand pointing? This is our minute hand and it's pointing to six. Remember before when we used to say the time, we look at the hour and it's pointing to the hour. Here the, our hand pointing to the hour and the minute hand pointing to 12. And we used to say it's two o'clock. Now we're learning about half. So as we see, this is a whole round and this is half round or half circle. So that minute hand pointing to six. The minute hand is on six. What does this show? You can say it is 30 minutes or half past the hour. Where is the hour hand? Select your answer. As we see, this is the hour hand, and we can tell now it's not in two, it's not at three, it's between two and three. The hour hand is between two and three. Think about why it points between those numbers. It takes the hour hand a whole hour to travel from one number to the next. After a half hour, the hour hand has traveled halfway to the three. Compare the two kinds of clocks. The minute hand points to the six. What numbers show minutes on the digital clock? Select your answer. So remember what we covered in the previous lesson, that the number before the two dots, that's the hours, and the number after the small two dots, that's the minutes. So as we know that this is 60, 60 minutes, which is a whole round. So half of 60 is 30. So as I can see, the hour hands between two and three, and the minute hands on six. So that's 230, and that's 230. So the question was, what numbers show minutes on the digital clock? That's the number after the dots shows minutes. The digital clock shows 30 minutes. What time do both clocks show? I can both of them show the same time, 2.30. It is half past 2 or 2.30. Now you know how to tell the time to the half hour on two kinds of clocks.
You also know how to write the time to the half hour. All right, so if I'm using digital clock, that's easy. I'm going to put my hours and I'm going to put 30 after the two small dots. That's mean 2.30 or 4.30, whatever the hours. And then the minutes is going to be 30 because it's half an hour. So we can say half past two or 2.30. Okay, over here, I know that the hour hand will always between the two hours, two numbers, not like before on two right away. It's going to be between two and three. And why? Because the minute hand is not on 12 anymore. It went all the way till six, which is half a circle of the 60 minutes. So half of 60 is 30. Let's go see our guided practice. All right. Write the numbers to complete each sentence, then write the time on the other clock. So let's see. First question done for us. The hour hand is between, so this is the hour hand between seven and eight. I always say the first number or the smaller number first. So seven and eight. I don't say eight and seven. It's going to be between seven and eight. So the hour hand is the short hand between seven and eight. So that's seven and eight. And the minute hand on six. Very good. So that's in the clock, the blue round clock or the clock, the analog clock or the clock with the hands. Okay, how about the digital clock? I know it's not eight. I know it's past seven, so it's seven. And I know the minute hand when it's on six, that's mean half of 60, which is 30. So it's 7.30. Why I didn't say 8.30? Because it's not eight o'clock yet. It's between seven and eight. And as you see, the short hand or the hour hand didn't go to eight yet, didn't pass eight yet. So it's between seven and eight. So it's 7.30. Okay, let's see in second question. The hour hand is between we say we're gonna read the small number first or the first number comes first. So between four and five, right? So let's write four. And five, put it down. All right, so the hour hand is between four and five. And then the minute hand. Very good on six. We're going to write six here. So the minute hand on six. Now let's write in our digital clock. I know it's between four and five. So it's four and 30 minutes or half past four. So let's write here four. And we know after the two small dots would be 30 because 30 is the half of 60, which is half an hour. So now it's all 430. Okay, let's go back to our first exercise. and answer the question. The minute hand travels all the way around the clock every hour. Each little mark is one minute of time. Count how many minutes make up one hour. How many marks are there if the minute hand goes only halfway around the clock? Explain your answer. All right, so now we know that if I have to give an example, I will put my hour hand between two numbers and I put my minute hands on six. And that will be the hours and 30 minutes past. So let's see, we can say it's between one and two. So that's the hour hand. And then the minute hand will be all the way to six. That's mean 
30 minutes. So now if I look at the time, what's the time? Very good in between hour one and, and two. So it's one, 30 or half past, very good, half past one. All right, that's it for today, first graders. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity in your book, page 539 and 540. Thank you. Hello, first graders, welcome to another uh, lesson in our topic, topic 13, that's lesson six, which is the last lesson for this topic. In this topic, in this lesson, we'll be um, talking about activities and that we do it daily and we will see um, the logic or the sense of the time that we spend in this activity. So please open your book, page 541, and let's see the example we have. Noel has a music lesson at 3.30. At 4.30, he goes to the library. He gets ready at 5 o'clock, so he can have dinner at 5.30. After dinner ends at 6 o'clock, he plays a game. Organize Noel's schedule in a way that makes sense to you. All right. So over here, we can make a table, and we can put the time and the activity. And of course, we're going to start with that smaller time. That first, what comes first, so 3.30, and then... We're going to go for that one after. All right. Let's go see our video. Mr. Diaz starts to read a story halfway between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. What time does Mr. Diaz start the story? Show the hands on the clock. What do you need to find out? You need to find out what time Mr. Diaz starts reading the story. What activities are shown on the schedule? What do the times show? Okay, we can see that at 8 o'clock, they start reading. So this is the activity, and we see the symbol of a book, and this is the time, 8 o'clock. The schedule shows reading, math, recess, art, and lunch. It also shows the time that each activity starts. Mr. Diaz starts to read a story halfway between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. What does halfway mean? It means the story is read right in the middle, between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. How many minutes are between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock? Right. So remember when we learn about that half an hour, so between 8 and 9. Halfway means between 8 and 9. So the short hand will be, or the hour hand will, between, will be between eight and nine, and the minute hands or the long hand will be uh, on six. So that would be 8.30 or half past eight. There is one hour between eight o'clock and nine o'clock. One hour is the same as 60 minutes. How do you know that there are 30 minutes in a half hour? Because we know that half of 60 is 30. There are 30 minutes in a half hour because 30 minutes is half of 60 minutes. What time is 30 minutes after 8 o'clock? It's going to be half past 8 or 8.30. 8.30 is 30 minutes after 8 o'clock. That means 8.30 is halfway between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. The hour hand points halfway between 8 and 9, and the minute hand points to 6. You can look at the table to see if the answer makes sense. The table shows that reading starts at 8 o'clock and math starts at 9 o'clock. 
So reading is still going on at 8.30 when Mr. Diaz reads a story. Now you know how to reason when you solve a problem about time. All right, and that's how we can tell also which activity will get uh, more time to, to be uh, finished. All right, so let's go to our guided practice activity we have on your book, page 542. Use Mr. Diaz's class schedule above to answer the question. Circle the activities that starts at the time shown, then explain your reasoning. So you go back to um, that in your, uh, well, we have it in your book, but we can go back to our video here and see what happened. So at eight o'clock, we just uh, read and know that at eight o'clock we were doing, uh, Mr. Diaz doing the reading, and then nine o'clock, they start the math and 10 o'clock, they start their recess. And then we have um, it, it uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, 10 o'clock, they start the art and 10.30, they have their recess and 11 is the lunch. So over here, it shows, in the schedule, if we go back, it shows that it uh, the reading took place at eight o'clock. And then after that, we have the recess at 10 o'clock. And then after recess, Mr. Diaz starts lesson uh, art at 10.30. So that makes sense because 10.30 is the art lesson because they have the recess time at 10 o'clock for half an hour. So we can write down that their time, they took um, half an hour, the, the class. Uh, half an hour for recess. And then That's why art class starts at 10. And we can see that when we go back to the schedule. All right, that's it for today's first graders. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity. Thank you.